Here's an easy and official way to get Game Pass in your Steam Deck. How's it going everyone and welcome to the latest video here on Deck Ready. So the one thing that people really want to seem to be able to do on the Steam Deck is use their Game Pass subscription natively on the device. So for the past week or so, the easiest way to make that happen was to install Windows 10 on the Steam Deck. Valve's official way to do it basically makes you wipe the hard drive of the Steam Deck and make Windows 10 the only operating system that the device uses, which is like hardly the best solution in my opinion. So I actually found a guide on Tom's hardware that makes it so you can run Windows 10 or even Windows 11 off of a flash drive. So you should check that video out if that's something you wanna do. And some people have even been able to use that exact same guide to run Windows 10 off of an SD card. Obviously that basically leaves you with the internal storage of the Steam Deck or whatever space is left over on that SD card. I have not been able to get that to work on my Steam Deck. When I booted up with the Windows to go SD card in the SD card slot, it refuses to show it on the boot menu. I actually get an error on my Steam Steam Deck when I try to do this. So I have not been able to get it to run off an SD card. And I actually made a support ticket and Valve basically told me, yeah, we do not support running Windows 10 off of an SD card as of now. But no matter how you manage to get Windows installed on your Steam Deck at this point, I really wouldn't recommend it until there's just an official way to dual boot Windows. And even then, I still like Steam OS better. It's kind of crazy, especially compared to the old big picture mode, which is basically the basis for the old Steam OS. This new version of it is absolutely phenomenal. It does everything that I want it to do. I have very quickly and easily learned how to make sure that all of the stuff I need from the Chrome browser all the way down to the emulators I'm using are available from the SteamOS launcher. I don't even have to go in desktop mode when these apps are installed. But that doesn't solve the problem of people really want to be able to use their Game Pass subscription on their Steam Deck. Now one of the most common workarounds I see people saying is that you can just buy a lot of these games on Steam and a lot of them are supported unless they use the easy anti-cheat or whatever other software is employed on Halo Infinite and other games that are unsupported. But the issue there is Microsoft basically has no consistent strategy across their many, many games they've released on PC over the past couple of years. And that basically means that the games that have cross save with Xbox Series X are few and far between. Forza Horizon 4, Forza Horizon 5, they do not have cross save with the Xbox even though you can log into your Xbox account. Same thing with Psychonauts 2, the list goes on and on. And on top of that, if you're already paying for Game Pass Ultimate, you don't want to have to pay another $60 on Steam to get these games again. And insult to injury, as I just mentioned, you can't use cross save with your Xbox Series X. If you're someone who only plays on PC, like you have a rig at home and you also want to have the Steam Deck, you'll get the cross save support with Steam featured, obviously. But still, I think it's fair to say that it's a frustrating scenario. So that's why I and a lot of other Steam Deck users were super excited to see on the Steam Deck subreddit today that Microsoft has gone out of their way to not only get Microsoft Edge working on the Steam Deck, but also native support for Xbox Cloud Gaming. You can basically make a version of Microsoft Edge that looks like an app in your Steam library called Xbox Cloud Gaming, and you can even update the art so that it looks even more real, and I think that's awesome. So for today's video, I thought it'd be fun if I walked you through how to install Microsoft Edge on your Steam Deck, and then how to add it to Steam in addition to the Xbox Cloud Gaming app, because you can do two separate apps here. You can do an Xbox app and a Microsoft Edge app that you can launch from the Steam Deck or in desktop mode. It's pretty cool. So the first thing you're going to do is hold the power button and switch to desktop mode. And once you're there, go to the App Store, which is called the Discover Software Center and navigate on the left side to applications, then internet, then web browsers, and then scroll all the way down until you find the Microsoft Edge beta. Then you just install it. Now back on the desktop, you want to click that Steam Deck logo in the bottom left, which is basically the start button. It's also called the applications launcher. I don't know what your preferred operating system is, but it's in the bottom left corner. Click that, navigate to internet, and then when you find Microsoft Edge, it's nicely alphabetized for you. Right click it, and then click add to Steam. Then the add a non-native Steam game menu will pop up, and then you just find Microsoft Edge and add it. Before we go into the Steam app, you're going to want to go back to the Steam Deck logo in the bottom left of the screen, navigate to system, and then console. It's spelled with a K. It's basically the terminal or the command window if you're used to Windows. You're going to enter an override into the console and there's two ways to do this. I actually made a password for my account on the Steam Deck, which gave me a lot of user permissions. But if you don't have a password already set, you might have to do this second step. But we're getting a little ahead of ourselves here. So let's start with this first step. You're gonna type in exactly what you see on the screen. It's also in the description and then hit enter. It's flat pack, user override, file system equals run, udev, ro, com.microsoft.com. 
edge and make sure it is exactly right because if you type any of this wrong it's not going to work after you're done typing it in now for me this worked totally fine so if it works for you your steam deck is probably set up in a similar way to mine but if it doesn't you'll probably get an error back that says you don't have permission or root access now if you get that error back thankfully there is a fix and it's super simple and it's an even shorter line that you have to type in so once again it's on the screen it's in the description and you got to get this exactly as it's typed out so type in sudo steamos read only disable hit enter and if it works it works you'll know because you won't get an error back and now we only have one more really long line of code to type in and this one's going to be done in steam so go over to the steam app finally and once you're in steam navigate down to microsoft edge parentheses beta right click on it left click properties and then change the name of it to xbox cloud gaming with beta in parentheses next up stay in the properties menu and scroll down to launch options now do not delete anything that's already there just scroll all the way to the end my keyboard does not have right arrow keys so i had to navigate here in a little bit of a tricky way but once you're there hit space and paste the line of code here again i'm gonna have it down in the description and you see it on screen right now so you know what you're looking for basically what you just did is make it so when you launch this web app shortcut thing that you just created it's going to launch xbox cloud gaming as a steam app but it's going to be at 1024 by 600 resolution just upscaled 1.25 times i'm assuming that's just basically the best resolution for streaming that they've found on their end and i will say that it worked really well for me as you'll see in a couple minutes all right so now we need to tell this web app to use the steam decks built-in control so what we're going to do is navigate to it in the library click on the gear options and in the top right click manage then controller layout browse through the templates and find the one that says gamepad with mouse trackpad that's going to make it so the gamepad controls like the triggers the bumpers the face buttons the d-pad the sticks all of that stuff is going to work in tandem with the trackpads which you're going to need and for the last step you're going to have to navigate to the reddit post where microsoft outlined how to do all of this because there's a link to download all of the art you'll need in that post that is again linked down in the description just click on the link to download the zip folder that has all the art and i dragged it to the desktop on my steam deck because i've just learned how to navigate to that desktop really easily it's like muscle memory at this point but you can store it wherever you want all right so back in the steam app you can right click on the big gray window above the xbox cloud gaming beta name like title thing and then you can change the art that way just click set custom background and then find the folder where the xbox cloud gaming beta art is and make sure you just click the one that has banner.jpg at the end and while you're in properties right click the little square logo and you can also change that so when you're in the list of all of your steam games and apps it'll have a little xbox logo next to it this is all obviously if you care about this stuff i don't really care all that much but a lot of people want the custom art so i figured i'd put this tutorial in here now the cool thing is you can actually add microsoft edge twice so if you want microsoft edge to be your default browser which is basically like a different version of chrome i don't really love it all that much but if you want to use it here's exactly how to do it you just re-add microsoft edge beta as a non-steam game and you don't have to set any launch options for this which is great so once you get this non-steam game added if you want to update the art you just go through the same process i just walked you through with the xbox cloud gaming beta app in steam but this time you're going to use the other folder that has microsoft edge art and the banner is kind of cool it's like animated that's nothing special i just thought it was kind of interesting so i figured i'd bring it up and once you have all of this done you have xbox cloud gaming on your steam deck and i gotta be real with you guys i was shocked at how well it actually works now another app i installed on my steam deck is obs and thankfully it works exactly the same as it does on windows but that means i had to plug my steam deck into my monitor to be able to record the screen so it's basically blowing up this 1024 by 600 image to 1080p which is why it's going to look a little grainy and also driving my 1440p monitor was using up some of the resources on the steam deck so when i was playing these games i was getting a little bit of stutter but when i took the steam deck off of my monitor and just played it natively on the steam deck i didn't get any stutters and forza horizon 5 specifically looked and ran really well there are some issues with horizon on steam i've seen where it basically comes down to your internet connection you get this kind of rubber banding thing where it feels like the game slows down and catches up with itself i get that on my xbox series x and my gaming laptop which has a 3080 in it basically any settings i use make that happen because it has to do with the connection to the server so this time around with the xbox cloud i didn't have that issue at all and again it looked and ran really well i also got used to the latency of the controls almost immediately there's just a little bit of a delay but your brain kind of tunes itself to that after
after a few minutes. Obviously, if you're jumping between a better PC or natively running the app on your Steam Deck, your mileage is going to vary on how quickly you're able to readjust or adjust in the first place to that latency, but I'm just gonna be real, it's not that bad. And I don't even like cloud streaming. I came into this ready to hate it and I actually really enjoyed it. But I wanted to try Halo Infinite because as of now, unless you install Windows, there's no easy or real native way to run that on the Steam Deck. So I figured the cloud gaming would be a good middle ground for now until Microsoft figures out a way to get it to run natively on Steam OS. I didn't jump in on the full multiplayer game. I just did the weapon drills in the Academy because I haven't played Halo Infinite in a while and I would have gotten stomped either way. And again, like with Forza Horizon 5, it took a couple seconds to adjust to the latency between the controls and when stuff would happen on screen. But once I got used to it, I was doing pretty well. I worked my way up from a one star ranking to a two star. And I think I could have gotten that three star in just a couple more rounds if I wasn't trying to get this video finished. And I gotta say, while it didn't look amazing when it was blown up on my 32 inch 1440p monitor while it was running at 600p, when I moved over to the Steam Deck, it ran better and it looked better. Honestly, I could play it and I kind of want to jump back into the campaign and try that out. But for games that are available on Steam and still look and run great, I'm probably going to play them natively on the device. Like Psychonauts 2 is a great example of a game that looks and runs incredibly just on the Steam Deck as it is. But it's nice to know that Microsoft is trying something here. They're giving us a fairly easy way to access the Xbox ecosystem. I just really hope they're able to figure out how to get the Game Pass app itself as a flat pack that you can just install on your Steam Deck. I don't really see how Steam could do anything about that because if they make it a flat pack, you can just add it as a non-Steam game like we did with this Xbox Cloud Beta app and it would probably work just fine. I'm sure it comes down to anti-cheat and the same reasons that Bungie doesn't want Destiny 2 natively running on the Steam Deck, but hey, it could happen. Microsoft seems pretty open to this stuff and I'm just hoping this is a stopgap while they figure out how to convert the entire app over because the Steam Deck is obviously selling really well. The pre-orders are well into the back half of this year and kind of pushing even into 2023. It seems like people are really enjoying it. And I think Microsoft is leaving a lot of money on the table by not supporting it natively out of the gate. There's a lot of people who would subscribe to Game Pass if they were able to play those games natively on the Steam Deck. The biggest caveat I think Microsoft would have to figure out though is taking advantage of that pre-cacheing that Steam OS does right now. That is a game changer. I tried playing Final Fantasy VII Remake in the Heroic Games Launcher and immediately realized that it didn't have the shaders pre-cached, so I was getting stutters all over the place. So if Microsoft can figure out how to get the Game Pass app on the Steam Deck and also use that pre-cacheing somehow, I think that's gonna be a perfect solution for people who subscribe to it. And that might drive people to buy a Series X for themselves too, because they'll be able to transfer their saves between devices. It's a really cool possible future we have to look forward to here. Anyway guys, I hope this tutorial helped you out and you have a great weekend. See you in the next one.